Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest House of Iron 4 video, Italy. A powerful, versatile country, very well positioned for early invasions in Europe and beyond, and also one possessing an absolutely terrible focus tree. Well, a new focus tree for Italy has been announced, and while I am ecstatic to hear that, let's take the old one for a spin one final time, shall we? For old time's sake. I think I'm gonna do the Roman Empire again. I already did that, but it was four years ago and the game has changed a bit since. Also, to make things a little bit more interesting, I am turning historical focuses off, so we might see some randomness. So yeah, Benito shall restore the Roman Empire. Maybe I'll make them communist? That would be silly. I'll think about it. Anyway, before we begin, a message from a sponsor for this video. Surprise, there is no sponsor today. But if you do want something to spend your money on, you could support my Patreon or just support me here on YouTube. You get absolutely nothing from it, but I do get the money. Or, you know, you can keep the money for yourself. What you could also do is let me know in the comments if you would watch live streams. Because I've been considering doing them for a while now. And now that I have your attention, I guess it's a good moment to ask. But please be honest, don't say you would watch them if you really wouldn't, because that would just result in time wasted and less videos. Okay, back to Hearts of Iron, regular difficulty, I'm in mode, non-historical focuses, Italy. Let's go. If we are to do the Roman Empire, we will need a lot of land, pretty much from everyone. I don't think I need to fight the Germans, but I'll need uh, the Benelux, bits of France, Austria, uh, Switzerland too, Spain, Portugal, Yugoslavia, Greece, even Hungary, and beyond. So it's a lot of work. Better get going then. It's been a very long time since I used paratroopers. Let's use power troopers. They can be very effective against France if you have the superior air force. I'm not so sure I will have the superior air force against France, but it might work out. Let's also immediately create a spy agency, we'll need that. As for the focus tree, let's do Ethiopian war logistics. I could delay the first focus to declare war a bit earlier, um, but I don't think it's worth it. Make guns. Can I make transport planes? I can, and I shall. Close air support won't be necessary. But I will make some fighters. Oh, interwar fighter, that is disappointing. Ah, interwar will be sufficient. Boost to research and to our industry. We start with 39 divisions and a war with Ethiopia. Let's quickly get this war over with so we can focus on building up our army. The easiest way to do this is to just assign all your troops to Africa and not worry about the details. We do have a couple of commanders, nothing too great but serviceable. Assign, activate, go. As for factories, let's start with some civilian factories, not too many and then a couple of military ones. That is about it. You can finish uh, the ships you are working on and then just do convoys. Okay then, speed the game up, unpause. I do have an air force, I could use it to speed things up in Ethiopia, I suppose. Hopefully we won't lose too many planes because I'm gonna need them for France. Once we're done with the war in Ethiopia, we'll start training new troops. Cool thing about this war is we get a steady amount of army experience from the very beginning. I could micromanage, but I'd rather not. Let's just trust our generals, shall we? Okay, already have over five army experience, so let's design a new division. It's gonna be just a one unit infantry division, let's call it tiny, because it is with a kitten, and we'll use that for deployment, also reserves, something like that. Full army group and some reserves. Now we're gonna be attacking Yugoslavia, because they're guaranteed by Czechoslovakia, Romania and France, and that will give us an early war with a bunch of countries that we need to conquer anyway. That is when we have the political power to justify the war goal. How much do I need exactly? 47. As I mentioned, I could have delayed the first focus to make this done faster, but we don't need to hurry that much. All right, that's enough, justify war goal. We could use focuses to get a uh, war goal on Yugoslavia, but this is faster. How's Ethiopia? Almost done. And they're taken care of. Take all states, please. Oh, I could use them as a puppet. There's 10 million population here, we could use that. We don't have to, so I don't really want to do puppets this time. Okay, guys, get back home, please. Same goes for on the planes. Spies, of course. Go we'll start working on France, and let's expand our agency. Cryptology. Maybe I can get my collaboration government going. No, I don't th I think I have enough time for that. But at least we will have good intelligence. See, if we did that now, then we could do claim on Yugoslavia and then justify a war goal for take claimed state. Um, but I think it's better the way we're doing it now. Also, I want to get the research slot relatively quickly. We start with four, which is a lot, but this will let us grow even faster. Benito speaks against Yugoslavia. Deploy troops, please. I think I'm gonna be using this template mostly. It's 12 width, which is decent and just pure infantry, which is cheap and sufficient. 
We do start with some tanks and some mountaineers. I'm gonna keep them and switch out all the cavalry, I think. Mechanical computing, please. Also, since we have the points, we're going to promote Giovanni Messa to a field marshal, since he's level 4. Japanese young officer coup. Interesting. Well, there has not been a civil war in Germany, so at least we know where they're going. How about the Soviets? Looks like the decision has not been made yet. They're going left, but which left? Right, I keep forgetting to boost my spy agency. Deploy troops. I don't think we'll be able to reach Paris, so we won't get an instant win on France. But if we can actually have enough air superiority to drop my uh, paratroopers, we should at least get an easy start on this fight. Ah, that's a full army group and a little bit more than that even. And we deploy a couple more and we'll make a lot of them into paratroopers. So this should be prioritized. As Italy, we actually have access to a communist revolutionary. So we could turn communist. I wonder what tag a communist Roman Empire has. But if you want to do that if we want to do that we can do that later industrial effort complete let's go towards the research slot and get some more military factories in the process our civilian industry is lacking perhaps i should do more civilian than military concentrated industry please and deploy troops deploy 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 angered by yugoslavian posturing these troops will exercise. We'll switch our field marshal for Giovanni Messe, and the second army group will be led by Rodolfo. Let's deploy as many as we can, then we'll have a lot more paratroopers available, because it's calculated as a percentage. So we can temporarily have a lot of units to get a lot of paratroopers, then disband the unnecessary ones. Will I have enough transport planes, though? Yes. Yes, I will. Radio and a boost for our infantry. Now, paratroopers are available. We did get a template, but it's a three paratrooper template. That's not what we want. Let's create a new one, a one paratrooper template. Sky Italians. Excellent. Now, how many of these can I train? Nine? That's unacceptable. We'll have to get more than that. And we will, soon. How much time do we have? Still a lot of time. We could go to extensive conscription, but I think we'll benefit more from boosting our troops a bit. So we're gonna get an infantry expert, the regrouping specialist, and probably the defense specialist. We don't have very good military advisors, but even what we have can help us quite tremendously. And extra research slot time. We spent so much on the planes that we just don't have enough guns, it seems. All right, let's continue the production as is, but any extra military factories we get will have to just go into infantry equipment. They are a fire and forget type of paratrooper. Deploy more troops. Right, I think it's time. Let's deploy the ones we can. The rest will be cancelled. Pause, cancel the rest. The ones we have go to this army and be switched to this infantry division. That will give us more battalions in the field and thus I will be able to get more paratroopers going. How many can we get? Up to 45. Okay, let's then select 45 of you guys and switch them to paratroopers. Excellent. They will be in two armies, assigned to this guy. Do we have generals for you? We don't have generals for you. Well, we kind of do, because all of these guys can now be disbanded. One full army group and two paratrooper armies. All the paratroopers go to the airport. All the planes go to the same airport. We deploy some more fighters. We don't have a lot of fighters. And of course, we will need to deploy the transport planes. Nine transport planes should be sufficient. And the rest of you can get ready to fight. An army on the French border. A lot of paratroopers, of course. Another army preparing naval invasions of the south of France. Essentially these two ports. It's not gonna help much, because there will be defenses, but it can help a little bit. Just directly on the ports, because I don't want to lose uh, the forces that are left without a port. Of course, we completely ignore Africa, as you should. Also, stop all your exercise. Additional armies. One is going to attack Yugoslavia like this. And I could send one over here, but they would be at a disadvantage just defending the port. I don't need to do that. So let's leave it alone. One will instead go towards Austria. And one army will be kept as reserves, I guess. So Milan is a good place for them. New spy is available, excellent. Oh, I forgot to get the local training centers. Let's do that, we'll need British spies later. Now, all of our fleet should also return home. All go here. Merge into one, because I don't like managing many. Extra resource slot complete, excellent. Don't need fortifications, could use army primacy or triumphant Africa for extra stability, let's do that one. The navy has arrived. Balance the fleets and do naval invasion support. Boost our industry even more. And our justification is ready. Should I scrap the rest of the planes? I'll leave one factory on that. Will we have enough air superiority? We'll see. Now, the paratroopers. Individual orders for each of them. Uh, oh, right, I don't have the planes yet. The planes need to get deployed first. Now, I don't remember if I should deploy them as individual planes or I can deploy them safely in a group thingy. I'm just gonna deploy them individually. 
the division the colonial template will be default, not reserve. Time to do the paratroop orders and land on all the victory points. We can get at least a couple of them that will bring France much closer to surrendering and even if we don't, uh, their army will have to scramble to deal with the paratroopers and that will too be very helpful. The paradrop orders are complete. Activate them, please. I think we're good to go. Declare war on Yugoslavia and see if our naval invasions and paratroopers succeed. Slow the game down a bit. France has joined and how are we doing? Oh yeah, attack. Paradrop is trying to do stuff down here. So how is our air superiority? We do have enough air superiority to do the paradrops, don't we? No, we have insufficient in the Alpine region. All right, let's reassign some more planes here until it is working again. Dropping on the victory points and it stopped working. Well, we did get a couple of drops. Insufficient air superiority down in the Alpine region. I can actually get almost all the planes out of southern France. Down here should still work. Yeah, they have no planes in southern France, so we should get enough soon. Run north, take Paris. Maybe you can. Uh, the naval invasions are coming, but they have secured both ports, so they will likely fail. We'll see, it's not that important. If the paratroopers do their job, we'll win. Already fighting Yugoslavia, and I'm going to start justifying a war goal on Austria. I am a fascist power fighting a major power, so we justify quickly. And Austria, well, I need to conquer, and also it will give me easy access to Czechoslovakia. But let's focus on the paratroops for now. Why are they not dropping? Maybe if I sped it up a bit. Come on. Why are they not being sent out? Something is terribly wrong here. Mission efficiency 20. 2.9%. Maybe I should have just deployed them as one plane. Dobrze idę. Something is going terribly wrong with these paradrops. I'm going to stop and restart them and see if that does anything to help. It doesn't. Hmm. What if I merge all these planes into a single unit? No division, zero transports. Will they reassign? Let's see. Will it fix itself? It kinda did for a moment. Something changed and we got a new drop in Vichy. So something is going on. Let's slow this down and observe. Okay, so bunching the planes together works better. The drops are actually happening. Lots of these places are defended, but it doesn't really matter because we can just walk there. And even more importantly, perhaps, we are distracting the enemy defenders. Maybe even blocking supplies. How are we doing with... Uh, I attack on France actually quite well. Yeah, we don't have enough guns for everyone, so this attack is not going too well. But it is going. If we defeat France, all will be well. If you rush so much, you have to take risks. This is one such risk. Okay, so the French are mobilizing troops to deal with my power drops. I can't really see anything here, can we? because of the power drop orders, but looks like we are landing behind enemy lines and this is changing the landscape, pushing them back and all that. Do we need war propaganda? A little bit, yes. Against France, that's fine. Actually, should have done Yugoslavia. Let's do professional officer corps and hire a defense specialist. Doesn't give us much, but every bit helps. We've extended our front line quite significantly. I'm sending more and more troops into the French territories. Perhaps we shall get the victory points. The naval invasions are failing. Oh no, they're not. Actually, we did land. Actually, I probably should have tried to get a superiority over all of France and dropped a few power drops up north. Maybe this war would be over by now. See, France is usually very easy to subjugate because they have the disjointed government modifier. Uh, this one. Surrender limit 50%. So I only need to control 28% of their victory points. If they have 72 or less, they will surrender. Essentially, I need Paris and I win. I could try to rearrange, get a power drop over to Paris, if it works. Okay, okay, this is actually going to succeed, maybe. Assign the order here. Go, land in Paris. And we took Paris, with one paratrooper. Is that enough? Almost. Okay, let's take something else. Why are we not performing missions? Oh, don't have fuel. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, let's quickly remedy that by buying a lot of oil from the Soviet Union. Come on, how about now? Full of Paris, yes. Oh, is my fleet in battle? I should retreat. We have no need for that. And disengage from a battle, please. Come on, a couple more victory points. We might actually have it. More victory points and quickly before they take Paris from me. This one, take it. How much more do I need? Significantly more. Go to Bordeaux. Nope, Bordeaux is defended. How about Vichy again? This is a bit hectic, isn't it? Paris is about to be retaken, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I, I should have gone directly for Northern France. Let's try here. You know what? I'm going to cancel all the current orders they have. Move to the airport and we'll do them one by one. Good, we landed. Unit in Paris is still standing, just need one more big victory point. They retook Paris. Almost out of paratroopers. I'm going to wait a little moment. Assume they're out of Paris by now. Are they? Possibly. Try to take it again. Go. How about now? Yes, that is enough. All right, at midnight they should surrender. See? France. Haha, <laughs> excellent. 
Now, that was not well executed. I should have started uh, with paratrooper orders on the victory points only and in both northern and southern fronts. However, there was a little bit of a problem with the transport planes, which I rectified later, so I guess that's fine. Now, I don't remember what I need uh, for the Roman Empire, so I'm just gonna take almost everything and leave them, say, Madagascar and puppet them with that. I don't want this to be a puppet run, uh, but I'm still going to have them as a puppet with just Madagascar because I want their fleet. Okay, end the turn, puppet with the rest. Excellent. Now, we're still at war with the remaining uh, nations, Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, and Romania. Also about to get a war goal on Austria. However, that could be stopped by the Brits because we've caused a lot of world tension now. But the war goal will be ready in three days, so I guess we'll see. Now, the Brits are next. That went reasonably well. It is time to take care of Austria and Yugoslavia, and Czechoslovakia, and Romania. Now, Soviet Union, what are you doing? I still don't know. I don't really need to fight the Soviets. I could reduce the fighter production, increase gun production. Also, Send our spies to the UK. Also, our war goal on Austria is going to be ready in three days. They might get... Yeah, they got guaranteed in the meantime. I'm not ready to attack the Brits at the moment, I think. Although, maybe I am. They definitely are not ready to defend. Maybe I could do it. If I can get at least one port. The Brits are very, very bad at defending uh, their home. Essentially, their troops are scattered all around the world and they don't have anything here. So if we can swiftly get a port we win if we move quickly enough. Normally, it is better to wait with that so we can get all the dominions at the same time. But perhaps rushing this will be the better choice. You can always send some extra troops to secure the dominions while we're already at war, even though it probably won't work. So yeah, let's do that. Let's send some troops off to take care of their dominions. All we need to do is have a confrontation, a fight, for one moment. So theoretically we can do it when we're already fighting the UK on their soil. Let's take our fleet, rebalance it and whatnot. Oh, we've lost way too many ships, haven't we? Yeah, I shouldn't have been battling France. It might still be sufficient though, we'll see. Relocate. Are you repairing? Sir? Seriously, God damn it! Yes, abort the task, never repair, please. Never. Thank you. Is anyone left repairing? No. Good. Naval invasion support here. Stop repairing. Alright, no repairs for you. Are we good to go? Troops have not reached the starting position yet. Didn't I tell you to use fast transport? Bloody hell. I'll just do it without this one unit, maybe. No time to lose. Go. Let us attack Austria. We'll call no allies. Yes, United Kingdom has been called in and the naval invasions have launched. If they land, we win. Romania joined the Allies, that's actually good. And I'm being asked to join the Axis. I'm going to accept, of course, because they might send me stuff, and I want stuff. I'm not going to call the Germans into the war, because then they will want stuff. I don't want to give them stuff. Austria joined uh, the Allies. Will they land, though? Yes, yes they will. The first one in Portsmouth is already here. There you go. Sail directly, please. And another one is in position. See, the Brits never defend themselves properly. And attack. Oh, and the third one has landed. Excellent. Okay, good. Yugoslavia joined the Allies, that's fine. Actually, them joining the Allies is a good thing. And then when I defeat the Brits, I'll be able to annex all of that. I think I might be able to expand that acquisition of territory by declaring war on more people now. Let's do Hungary. Now, we could do the Benelux, but I can't really spare the troops. So let's do Hungary instead. Oh, and we got Plymouth as well. I don't need two armies here. One is enough to hold the line. So what I'm going to do is send the other one to Benelux. One of these guys spread out and secure the border, of course. We've landed, we're in Britain, and we are destroying them. Ah, a bunch of research is complete. There's a competing machine, concentrated in construction. But is Canada called into the war yet? Everybody is, good. So I can do a naval invasion of Canada from here. And if it succeeds, I'll have a Canadian participant. I can actually stop right before we defeat them in order to get more nations into the peace conference. Well, London, these guys are no longer needed here. Go take Belgium for me. And Luxembourg and the Netherlands. Only takes me 20 days to justify a war goal. And we just finished Triumph in Africa. Claims in Yugoslavia will be bypassed later, so let's do army primacy. How far are we from defeating the UK? Still not there yet. I was thinking of doing a collaboration government in Britain, but it's still 1936, so that's not enough time for any collaboration governments. Should I stop the advance on Britain? just to make sure we get more countries into this war. I probably should, yes. We got Bristol, 80% was capitulation. I think I can wait until I can take Liverpool. 
Justification on Hungary is complete. Declare war. Do not call allies. They should join the allies now. Who else do we need? Well, we do need Greece and Spain. Did Spain not have a civil war? Huh. Anyways, Belgium. Ten days. Maybe I should leave Liverpool alone and just take Newcastle instead and stop there. 88% towards capitulation and Liverpool is 30 victory points. Maybe finish taking Swansea. Oh, we got Cockermouth. Yeah, I think I should stop my invasion of Britain at this point. Just stop everything and go to cautious, everybody. You can finish, this is not going to break anything. And then we'll redo the orders and send some more people to the continent. We can crush the Brits when we want to. What are we doing on those victory points? Still can advance a little bit. Let's take Dumfries, Dumfries, whatever, and park ourselves next to Glasgow and Edinburgh. Essentially, when we take Liverpool, they should surrender. Ah, justification on Belgium is complete. Declare war. Justify on the Netherlands and boost our infantry a bit. Belgium joins the Allies, that's fine. Now what we're gonna do with them is one of the armies will secure the ports so there is no uh, help from their colonies and naval invasions and all that. And another army will split evenly between Liverpool, which is undefended currently, and Scotland. And finally the third army that is up here will just move to the continent soon. Did we do a naval invasion of Canada yet? Not yet. Why are you docked in Normandy if you have a mission in Canada? God. Damn it, I hate the navy. Right, this army of 16 units can go home. Well, home. They can go to the continent. Who should we attack? I could go after Spain. They're not a major power. Though if there wasn't a civil war, they might have troops and actually be a danger. So maybe we should do Switzerland instead. New justification, declare war. Ah, uh, do I need Luxembourg? I think I do. Yes, I do. Justify on Luxembourg. Why not? Oh, this is just one victory point, so I guess I can take it. No problem. I need more troops. I don't have uh, the guns for them. Let's get 60 more units. And there's some civil wars in the Baltics. War goal on Luxembourg is ready. Declare war. Who's next? Um, I was saying, oh yeah, there's a civil war in Spain now. I can just kill them afterwards. Switzerland. Luxembourg joins the Allies, not a problem. Now, my forces are spread very thin. And I can't win a direct assault here, but I don't need to. All I need to do is hold out and make sure that I capitulate the Brits at the right moment. Now, how about that navy I sent to you? Our naval invasion of Canada will make sure they're in the peace conference. This also works for their other puppets, but I'm not sure I'll be able to get the other puppets into the peace conference. Yay, naval invasion of Canada is happening. We're being pushed back quite significantly. It doesn't really matter, but we must time this right so we're not capitulated in the middle of our assault. Can you perhaps move into the Netherlands so there's actual fighting between us? Switzerland, declare war. Who's next? I'm thinking Greece. 15 days, that's fine. Wait a minute, are you going communist? Not yet. Alright, that's fine. If they were to join the commandant, that would be a bit of a problem. Right, troops in Canada, that's good. You go off and fight, it doesn't matter anymore. Justification on Greece is ready. Now, this is dangerous, because Greece tends to do naval invasions, and we're not really defending ourselves. Greece joins the Allies, and we're going after Turkey. Let's take uh, meticulous preparation, and I'm still unsure about this. Yeah, logistical focus seems fine. Ah, you guys are almost in position, good. Army primacy complete. We're moving so fast that these hardly matter. Well, let's go down this route so that we can get uh, bonuses to doctrines. Go patrol the area. And South Africa is about to be involved in the peace conference as well. Let's monitor ourselves for not being navally invaded. Oh, we got into the Netherlands, good. Well, that ensures they'll be in the peace conference, excellent. Turkey, here we go. And Bulgaria. I have overextended myself a little bit. I can't just, you know, keep declaring on more and more countries. But I'll do as many as I can. I just don't have enough power to just declare on everyone and not get killed. But I almost do. Now this is the linchpin, right? When we capitulate the United Kingdom, we just win. The question is, who is going to be involved in the peace conference? Should I call France in? Yes, yes I should. No. No, because there have been situations in the past when subjects called in other members of the faction. And if the Germans get involved, that's going to be a problem. Declared war on Bulgaria. Albania we can get through a focus. Now, do I need Saudi Arabia and Iraq? I don't remember. I do need Iraq. I don't seem to need Saudi Arabia. Even though the map would suggest I do. Well, I can always conquer them later if it's necessary. All right, let's do Iraq. And you're almost ready to invade New Zealand and Australia. Excellent. You go fight the Raj, although that's probably not necessary since they are already taking over my territory. You guys, their naval invasions of British Malaya and of the Dutch East Indies. Activate when ready and get that fleet over there. And I have to split you into two. You guys go the South China Sea and you go all the way here. 
New justification complete. Declare war on Iraq. We could do Albania, that would save us a focus, or we could do Portugal. Let's do Portugal first. And of course Spain, but Spain is in civil war, so I would need to attack both Spains for this to work. And actually have someone to protect myself against them, because, you know, they're getting too far into my territory. I think I need to just kill the Brits. It's time for the British to end. Can my naval invasions actually launch in time? Possibly. Have they launched? Why have you not launched? Did the navy mess something up again? Repairing. Of course you're repairing. God damn it, I hate them so much. Yes, I want you to not repair. How difficult is that? Never repair. How about now? Oh, they're launching. Will you launch as well? You might. Yes, yes, you're launching. Excellent. Did I activate the order on the British? I did. They're not doing anything yet. Oh, I'm uncautious, that's why. Oh, let's go unbalanced and we'll go and declare war on Portugal. Now I am still at war with a major power, so I can still justify quickly. So I suppose I'll do both Spains. Let's do war on Galicia. No, actually, Spanish Africa. That and new as well, but that will take 80 days. Okay, that's fine. I would like the justifications to end at the same time. So I shall cancel this one and do it again. This way they will both end after 80 days. And we're more or less set. We are cutting it close here because we're about to get conquered if we don't move fast. So let's see, um, maybe I'll wait for the naval invasions to land. Should I do that? Just a little moment. Okay, one has landed, the other has landed. How about Australia and New Zealand? New Zealand has landed and Australia is almost there. Yes, everyone has landed. We can now safely destroy the British completely. Go aggressively, please, and activate your orders. Liverpool shall fall, or Edinburgh, or Glasgow, whichever, and we shall win before they can reach Rome, of course. Well, I suppose there'll be some devastation with the rest of Switzerland, but it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, because we win. Rather, we will in a moment. Modernize the army. Grand battle plan expert. Let's take this guy and get the doctrines cheaply. This is cutting it close a bit, isn't it? But worry not, when Liverpool falls, we win everything. And Liverpool falls. United Kingdom capitulates. Who is in the peace conference? Yeah, I didn't do the power drop on Greece. Forgot to do it in time. No matter. I'll just send troops. Iraq is involved. That's nice. And all the dominions are involved as well. That East Indies are not, but we can just satellite them. Why are you not, though? I did send troops there, so Dutch East Indies should be in this. Or will that be a separate conference? No, Netherlands are involved as well. And the rush. Okay, see? One war, so much territory. Let's start with the Netherlands. To satellite... Wait a minute, why can't I take the Dutch East Indies from them? Something must have bugged out. Which is very, very unfortunate. Oh well. Did they break free in the meantime? No, they're still Dutch East Indies. So I do not understand the situation, but I don't have to. Let's start with New Zealand. Take all states, please. Canada. Take all states. Hungary. Same. Belgium. Take all states, please. Netherlands will leave for another round, maybe it'll fix itself. Luxembourg take all states, Switzerland take all states. Well, you know the drill by now. Take all states. Bulgaria. Oh, that's too much. Right, I have to cancel some Bulgarian states because I don't have enough points somehow to do it in one turn. Let's continue. Apparently I have to pass a couple of times. Right, so where were we? Iraq is taken. Bulgaria take all states. South Africa take all states. Raj, same. Malaya. Did the East Indies get involved yet? No. Well, let's see if the option appeared in the Netherlands. No, it still did not. Huh. Which is weird. I suppose. What happens if I puppet them? What happens if I puppet the Netherlands down here, for example, and the East Indies are still their puppet? Still no new option on the Netherlands. Right, I'm gonna take the European possessions of the Netherlands. I'm gonna puppet them with their South American possessions, I think. And see what happens with that. Right, and there's the UK left, of course. Now I could satellite them, or rather puppet them for their fleet, like I did to France, but there's absolutely no need for it. Although they would keep their army and maybe help me in future engagements if I did that. Pass a couple of times. But you know what? I'm gonna leave you some territory. You can move to South America. How does that sound? You can support me with your fleet and troops from there. And I shall puppet them with that. And turn. Done. So what happens to the Dutch East Indies and am I still at war? I should probably be at war still. I am not. No, I am. At war with Republic of Indonesia. And Portugal and Hellenic Republic are in the same faction. So yeah, Greece, Portugal and the Republic of Indonesia. Which I am currently at war with, which is problematic since I do not have an army there. What I can do is quickly send an army there. I am not currently at war with Greece. But I almost am. Also, we own Canada. Isn't that nice? Okay, what else do I need for the Roman Empire? Albania, Greece, Northern Epirus, Portugal and Spain. So not that much, actually. Not that much at all. Can I give a white peace with Indonesia? Probably not. 
Okay, this additional army will go to Greece. Infantry expert, yay, and adaptable. Nice traits. Looks like, oh, Greece has left the faction to not fight me. I could justify on them, but I am already justifying on both Spains, so that would cost me a lot of political power. Portugal has been called in. Not really a problem, I'll get to them once I'm cutting through Spain. And the war will take 43 more days. Expeditioning force from the Brits, yes. Well, one is not a lot, but you guys can help. You could also request them from France, I suppose. I'll need to do naval invasions here as well. Let's do excavation, because we have lots of territory with stuff. And finally, I'm gonna have enough guns soon. Let us continue, we're almost there. Also, I can now bypass claims in Yugoslavia, and with that, we should be able to do Albanian occupation. But let's uh, finish our current focus first. Oh, there's Portugal here. And they have Soviet volunteers. Um, I guess I can ignore that. If they take some of the former Raj, it doesn't really matter. They do need to win this war here. My friend Romania bypassed, because there's no Romania. Do we need Pact of Steel? We do not. But we can bypass it too. Oh, war with Greece, actually. Yeah, that's gonna be faster than what I'm currently doing. Also, fighting countries that are in civil war is problematic. They can, for example, get a white peace with us or something. Uh, but I do need to get through here to get to Portugal. Attack aggressively. Ah, justifications for Spain are ready. I'm going to declare both wars. And home that when I capitulate one of them, that will not automatically piece me out with the other. Now, do we justify on Greece or do we do a focus? 15 days. I think Indonesia counts as a major. Well, in that case, let's just justify a war goal. And you guys can now use a proper front line. Or rather, two proper front lines, I suppose. Go, go into Spain. It is usually good to wait for the Spanish Civil War to be over, um, because they have almost no troops afterwards. But I should be able to beat them quite easily. Nationalist Spain joined the eyes. Nationalist Spain joined the eyes. Oh. Not Spain. Interesting. We've modernized the army, let's get Albania. Portugal is putting up more resistance than I expected them to. USA pursues interventionist politics. I really don't want you to join the Allies. They shouldn't. In any case, time to beat up Greece. And they too have joined the Allies. Perhaps I should have waited for the Spanish Civil War to be over. Yeah, it takes forever. Next doctrine. And the next doctrine. Attack on Greece is going splendidly. They're invading Turkey. Doesn't matter because it's not my core territory. Same goes for India. And we got pushed out of Indonesia. Oh well, not a real problem. I'll just put you all in Singapore. And we're gonna do naval invasions from there. Naval invasions of some ports. Activate when ready. Are you repairing again? They are in fact repairing again. Oh, that's because when I split them into these additional fleets, they reset the repair orders that I set for the entirety. Okay, so I need to redo the repair order. Now we know. Greece will soon be taken, or Spain. Actually going much worse than I anticipated. I thought I would easily defeat them, but looks like I can't do that. Should have waited until the civil war ended, I suppose. That's a nice country name, isn't it? Just Italy over here. Ah, oh, naval invasions have launched and have landed. They're putting their troops here on an attack on what used to be Turkey, while we kill them here. And they have capitulated. Excellent. Mm, looks like the Spanish Civil War might be over soon, in which case many of these troops will just be deleted and now waltz in. Albanian occupation complete. Will Zog submit? Will you Zog? Yes. Yes you do. Much better. Alright, we only need Iberia. Oh, a new country has emerged in the Spanish Civil War, goddammit. Well, I do have quick justifications, so I'll just do that. We need manpower. Extensive conscription. I don't really need any more focuses here. I suppose I could have done Italy first rather than Pact of Steel to get political power. It's not important. Let's do German military cooperation. It will boost our doctrines a bit. Justification on the third Spanish Civil War participant is ready. Ah, uh, I have divisions in your territory. How? Well, they are going back. To the war. Oh, right. National Spain joined the Allies, so Spain proper is at war with Portugal, which is an interesting turn of events, I suppose. Let's get better infantry weapons. Soviet Civil War. Well, it's not my problem unless someone here starts joining the common turn. How are you doing down here? Well enough. The European Pact, Lithuania, Estonia and the Soviet Union. Well, I have no quarrel with them at the moment. Hey, we finally got out of Gibraltar. Is Portugal going to capitulate to Spain? That would be quite fun. Ah, got the Indonesian capital. How are you doing against them? Halfway there. I might need to launch some more naval invasions, but let's first secure what we have. Carlist Spain, sure, another one to attack. Communist China joins uh, there. I'm hoping that if I'm at war with all of them, I will not get white peace when, you know, civil war ends or something. But if I do, I'll just justify a new war goal. Do we need secret weapons? Sure. This is one big Spanish civil war, with Indonesia and Portugal joining in. Let's boost our industry, even though it's ahead of time by a lot. What's our air force doing? I'll send some down here. Looks like Portugal is about to capitulate to Spain. 
Who wants to, who do I still need to capitulate? Spain, Indonesia, Portugal, Spain, Spain. The last pocket of Greek resistance is dwindling. Portugal is doing stuff in India, we don't really care about that. Wait a minute, I still did not attack Carlist Spain, did I? No, because they lost the region I was justifying on. It's not a one-sided war at all, it seems, in the Soviet Union. A clear war on the last part of Spain that we are not at war with. I don't really need any more of these focuses, I'll just uh, use the political power to boost my country a bit. Let's get more stability and war support. And we have landed in Makassar. How much more do I need to take to make you surrender? Quite a bit, it seems. Well, Spain has gone a long way in Africa. Well, if they go across the straits here, I'll have to stop them. Not that it really matters, because it's not their core territory, so they can just take it if they want to. It's not our core territory either. Expeditionary forces from the Germans? But you're not in this war. How can you send me expeditionary? God damn it. Who the hell called the Germans in? I did not agree to this. Very annoying. I'll just kill the Germans if I have to, but still. Okay, Carlist Spain was annexed. That's fine. Do the Germans have any participation? No. Good. Let's check Indonesia out. And we have landed here as well. What's your current capital? Do you even have one? No. Here, have some more troops. Now, I want to do something stupid. We're going to hire a communist revolutionary. Because I'm very close to getting Rome. And I want to see what Rome looks like. Communist. Probably very hungry, but apart from that. Level 6 Field Marshal. Organizer. Really curious to see what happens when I defeat all the Spanish bits. Oh, and it's done. Excellent. Looks like, uh, who have we defeated? Did we defeat Indonesia or Portugal? Doesn't matter. Because they're all up for grabs. But sadly, Spain is also in this peace conference. Now, that's not really a big issue, because if they take Portugal here, I'll just take it from Spain, who I am also fighting. Liberate to British Raj the hell? So they're liberating countries from Portugal. That's... oh, that's disgusting. Why would you do that? Just take the territory. Also, why does Spain have so much war score on this? Let's pass a couple of times. So they're puppeting Portugal, it seems. Let's pass it a couple of times. I just want the Greek territories right now. Yeah, right, Indonesia. Can we take that too? Some of it. All right, taken. And Portugal is now... what is Portugal now? What the hell happened here? Portugal is now democratic and again at war with us. Subject of Spain, not a problem. I'll just kill them. Again. There are some supervised states that were created, so my map will not look as great, all well, thanks to Spain, but will definitely destroy them. Things do get messy, don't they? Senegal dictatorial state. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. Let's finish Spain off. How is Spain not dead yet? Take these victory points here. That might be sufficient. Portugal has capitulated again. Republic of Angola is our enemy now. Okay, Spain has capitulated, but they are not in the peace conference. Let's pass a couple of times and take all of Portugal. Okay, Spain was annexed by us, but I didn't click that. Owner, Regional Council of Aragon. Oh, so the Spanish Civil War ended, and they took everything, but I'm currently occupying it and at war with them, so once we take Barcelona, it will be properly ours. Okay, all should be fine. And we're one state, two states away, three states away from realizing the Roman ambition. Well, take Barcelona. Finally. Okay. This was a lot of work, wasn't it? Let's pass a couple of times. And, of course, take all states. Take everything. And turn. Thank you. Okay, finally. Italy looking good and chunky. Well then, isn't it time to realize the Roman ambition, finally? And I will get cores on everything, so look at the manpower and factory counter. They will change soon. Imperium Romanum. We are Rome. 500 factories, 10 million manpower in 1938. Could have done that earlier if we did a better job with Spain and all those civil wars. Now, what do we do next? I kind of want to turn communist, because it's stupid. Augustus Mussolini. Can I even turn communist? Yes, I can. Open a political discourse. Let's do that. Are we still at war with someone? Yes. Yes, we are. They've released some countries and put us at war with them. Oh, well. All right, let's send armies there. Who am I at war with? India. India is just this little bit here, so let's get the Indonesian Roman army over there. We got Angola and Mozambique and Guinea. Won't take too long. 
Now this is a very good setup for a world conquest, we can just crush everyone if we want to, we have access everywhere. And uh, so the best course of action would be to beat up the United States and then the Soviet Union at the moment the civil war ends. Or we could just intervene in that civil war. But that's discredit of the government. And that gave us more democratic support than communist. Well, I'm working on it. Polish Republic declared war on Poland. Lots of civil war happening this time around. Also, Germany is just sitting there, building railways while we conquer the world. Can I take over the faction yet? Need a little bit more manpower in the field, but apart from that, yes, I can. Oh. The Soviet Civil War is over. Well, should we take out the Soviet Union as well while we're at it? They probably have no army. Trotsky is leading it. And they're justifying a war goal on the Japanese shogunate. Hmm, they do have an army. India is taken care of. Let's get some more troops in the field, shall we? Lots more. Doctrine? Sure. Can we finish off the, the doctrine tree? Yes, we can. Okay, good. Should I invade the Soviets? Probably should. Another country taken care of. Just two left. Let's attack Trotsky. Why not? We can. And we should. Or should I beat up the United States first? Oh, Japan is justifying on them, not the other way around. Let's do United States and Mexico first, I suppose. The American Union. Oh, oh, I created so much world tension that they actually joined up with the country I'm fighting. So if I am to beat up the Americans, I need to get there quickly. No, they have not been called in in time. So I don't actually need to get there quickly. Well, let's go there anyway. As you can see, Italy is quite powerful. It's 1938 and I already have over 10 million manpower and over 400 factories. Now for early expansion, Germany is stronger, but once we've consolidated that early expansion, this is quite good. I would even dare say better than Germany, provided you can consolidate that early expansion, because without those cores, we were not so well off. Oh, and we can take over the axis. Sure, let's do that. The red axis. Better guns, please. Justification on Mexico is over. Declare war, please. They're guaranteed by the United States, so they're called in. Go. And I can invite Poland to my faction, really? Sure. Why the hell not? Senationist Republic of Poland. Some quick advancement. It's only January 39, the United States are not ready. That's a wonderful axis, isn't it? With Poland and Germany in it. Led by the Roman Empire. How is my communist support? 27.9%. Uh, Japan is attacking the Soviets. Quick advancement, going well. Anti-commandant pact. Sure, but there's no commandant left. Rome will make better use of that territory. Should I go further with my conquests? Probably should. We've gone so far, we can go a little bit further. And Germany has made its first aggressive move, its claimed memo. We're so afraid. Constanzo Emo. Well, he's not a happy camper. Right, I can make Sebastiano an army regrouping expert. Let's do that, since we do have an army regrouping guy, but he's just a specialist. So let us replace him. Why can't I replace him? Oh, I need to fire this one first and then hire this one. I wonder who will be the leader of a communist Roman Empire. The United States and Mexico have capitulated both. to take all states from Mexico and... Do I want to satellite the Philippines? Yes. And I cannot take all states. Let's take as many as we can. Pass, 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 pass. Pass, pass. No! What happened? I passed too many times. Someone took stuff. Poland took four states. And there's American puppet of the Germans. Well, that is unfortunate, but uh, not a big deal. Right, so who do we attack next? I'm thinking Union of Soviet Republics. I will use them to attack many more countries, I think, with quick justifications and stuff. Iran, Afghanistan, who else? Let's take Ireland as well. It'll look better. And Yemen and Oman. And let's create another army. How far do we want to go? Do we want Nepal, for example? We could. Justify on their capital. 25 days, sure, let's do that. How are we doing with that communist support? 32.9. Could start getting some events soon. Justification for Pietrograd is finished. Are you guys in position? Some of them are. Sure, why not? We're the Roman Empire. Nobody can stand against us. Let's attack. Also, now that we're at war with a major, we can invite Japan into a faction. Sure, why the hell not? Uh, invite a faction. Join me. And together we shall rule. I mean, I will rule, you will follow. But still together. So, let's do some quick war goal justifications. 10 days for us now, isn't it? Oh, it's 15. Why not 10, though? It's weird. Should be 10. Well, let's do Ireland first. Oh, right. The problem with having Japan in our faction is that Poland and Germany will also be called in. Well, let's not be greedy. We can share in the spots. I already have enough land with all this and all this. Anti-Soviet pact. Sure. We'll stand by Germany, our little friend. Just location on Ireland is ready, but my troops are not ready yet. Let's do another country. Let's do Yemen first. I don't need to mm, attack immediately. 
and the war goes on valid for two months. Who else can I invite? Latvia. Do we want Latvia to be our friend? Yes, yes we do. Join us. Can I rename the faction? Mm, sadly, I cannot. Uh, what happened? Latvia has defeated Lithuania. Fine, fine. Yemen war goes ready. Let's do Oman. Let's just continue doing the countries one by one. Maybe I should do a collaboration government. Commence when ready, automatically repeat. We should also prioritize operations, then garrisons, then all the rest. We can do anti-democratic raids to speed up our transition. Sure, let's declare war on Ireland. Why did this go to Poland? This was next to my territory. Poland, give me stuff. Oh, let's do Nepal next, because my troops are already in position. Nepal, let's attack. And just fine on CM. Let's attack Oman. Our troops are there. I have not surrounded them. But just attacking from one side is going to be sufficient for such a small country. Ireland is taken care of. Perhaps I should take Scandinavia as well. Well, Nepal is very well defended. Well, they have mountains, so perhaps I should not be surprised. We will overwhelm them, but uh, I'm still surprised by the level of defenses they have. Will I actually have time for a coalition government, or will we just win? Oh, I have a war going, I'm not justifying one, which is a mistake, let's do Saudi Arabia. Seriously, Nepal is very, very resilient. Mm, can say the same about Siam. Justification on Saudi Arabia is complete, attack, and justify on Iran. Trotsky Grad has become the capital. How far are they from capitulation anyway? Actually, very close to capitulation, much closer than I would like. If they wanted to extend this war a bit, well, we can always attack China if we want more quick justifications. Yemen has capitulated. Afghanistan, you're next. Estonia capitulated. So Latvia took the Baltics. No more CM. Ah, we finally took one bit of Nepal. I might take out Liberia if we have the time. Where does Rome end? Rome doesn't end. Now, did the Chinese create a faction? Not really, no. In that case, we might want to get Yunnan. Then with Saudi Arabia. And the war goal on Afghanistan is complete. Go. Let's do Denmark next. Might be a mistake with those collaboration governments. We don't want them to surrender too quickly. Ah, well. Even if they do, We'll be okay. The attack on Iran is going more slowly than I would like it to. Denmark, your time has come. Let's do Bhutan next. You go after the Jiangxi click. Nepal is still the most resilient country. Justification on Bhutan is ready. Attack. Let's do Yunnan next. 20 days. Rome is growing. Of my communism? 40%. Still no events. Do I want to get Sweden next? Bhutan taken care of. Denmark capitulates. Excellent. Iceland takes control of foreign affairs. Ah, it's fine. Oh, did someone just surrender? Oh, it was the Soviet Union. Oh, I wanted to keep it going, but it's fine, I suppose. I have the most participation, of course, but the Japanese also have a lot. Let's start with the stuff we actually want for ourselves to make everything look nice. Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, and then Iran. This is good. Now Nepal and Bhutan, and yeah. Okay, good. This will give us a nice border here. We could take Denmark, but we'll just leave it to the Germans if they want it. I'd much rather take southern Soviet territories. We could make puppets, but that's not what Rome is about. Although what I can do is cut the others from taking the Soviet territory, so I should do that. I could do this more efficiently, but that could mean having, for example, Iran as a puppet of the Japanese or something like that. And we don't want that to happen. Pass a bit. Can I now take all states? Yes, I can. And the turn. Excellent. The Japanese did get a bit. Imperium Romanum. 40% communist. We are getting there. Who am I at war with? Just Afghanistan. What's my justification? On Yunnan, it is happening. Tag them. See if anyone else gets involved. Oh, I still get fast justifications. Just for war go when at war with a major. Does Afghanistan count as a major now? It's possible they became... Yeah, they're a faction leader. Okay, what I need to do is get all these people to not attack Afghanistan for a little while. So I can keep justifying quickly. Secure Afghanistan, do not attack Afghanistan. Yunnan joins the 4th International and I can keep justifying quickly. Excellent. Tibet, next. If Afghanistan is the leader, all I need to do is just not beat up Afghanistan and we can continue attacking people. Oh, Poland didn't get anything. I feel bad for them. But my borders look better. So it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Can I throw you out of the faction? No, you're in the wars. Well, no, I can actually. But we're fighting together, so I won't be able to attack them anyway. Let's do Finland. Communist China attacks Jibei San Ma hmm. and Shangxi. We will fight all of them eventually. Now though, mm, are we ready to attack Finland? Yes, yes we are. 46.9. Almost there. New justification complete. New war starting. Who's next? I'm thinking Xinjiang and then Sweden maybe. Or maybe Tanutuva. Are we doing against the Shangxi clique? Oh, actually not as well as I would hope. They are well prepared for this. 
We need to send another army when one is free. War against Sinkiang communism. Justification complete. That will put us at war with communist China as well, which is welcome. Let's do Tanu Tuva. I can convince Shangxi and Jibei Sanma to join my faction. I guess I could. I don't really need to. I could just eat them as well. I think I'll eat them. Finland is defending admirably, but there is no defense against the Roman might. Oh, Zhang Shiklik has actually pushed me out of Macau and Hong Kong. That is surprisingly competent. Here, have some reinforcements. When the justification on Tanu Tuva is ready, and at the moment of the justification being complete, they decided to join a faction against me. At least they figured what was going to happen to them. Sweden, you're next. Let's get even more manpower, shall we? I want to see nice big numbers here. Too bad, capitulate. One of the armies goes after Sweden, the other goes after Norway. Hm, Yunnan capitulates, excellent. Two armies are free. You prepare to go after Jibei Sanma. And you guys, you got Liberia. Tanu Tuva capitulates. Perhaps it's time for China itself. Justification on Sweden is ready. Declare war. Justify on Norway. That deals with Sinkiang and leaves me with two free armies. Norway. Declare war. And let's do Jibei Sanma. Justification complete. Liberia. Your time has come. Take position on the Chinese border. It's almost time. This is not a victory point. You can take it and free the army up. Are my troops there yet? Mm, more or less. Declare war. Let's do Shangxi next, and after that we can do China. Oh, and we can turn communist. It's quite possible that countries will start leaving the faction when we do. So we might want to finish the war first. Liberia, and next. China time. And as the last attack, everyone else in the old world is either at war with us or allied to us. Let's go. Rome declares war on China with overwhelming force. Right, and I'm not justifying anymore. So let's activate all the orders and make absolutely everyone aggressive. We could also do South America, but there's uh, there's no need for it. It's rather tedious. I don't like doing full world conquests because they take forever and the game slows down later on and they're rather boring. So um, I guess finish Afghanistan off is what I'm saying. Afghanistan capitulates and it doesn't instantly end the war because China and Sweden are also major countries. But it does free up some troops. Let's send some extras to Scandinavia. Ah, even more communism. All right, I think we need to switch ideologies now. We are the glorious Imperium Romanum under Augustus Mussolini. But what happens if we turn to the ideology of communism? What is that decision? National referendum, here we go. Communists demand referendum. Partitio Comunista Italiano becomes the ruling party. Okay, and we are... <laughs> Comunitas Proletaritask Romana. That's not a cool name, but that is a cool flag. Based on Mark Apulates. It's a cool color, but it is not a cool name. Comunitas Proletaritas Romada is uh, weird. Oh, a logistics expert. Finally. Let's hire him. Computers. Now let's do nuclear reactors because we can. How Scandinavia? The borders got weird. Oh! That's an end to communist China. Let's pop up them. And give them Xinjiang's territory, if we can. And I take Tanutuva for myself. Communist China is now my puppet. It's not gonna make my borders look good, but it's gonna make my manpower counter look good. Okay, China capitulates. And Norway capitulates. So now I just need to defeat who? Uh, Sweden, for everything to end. Ma Bu Fang takes national leadership in China. Where is this China you speak of? Sweden still has not surrendered. And there it goes. That's the end of the greatest of the wars. And it's just us in the peace conference, really? Cool. I'll pass a lot of times. My puppet communist China get all that territory down here. Uh, do they have cores on Tibet? They don't. Well, they do have cores everywhere else here. And the rest I'm taking for myself. Okay, and turn. And that's it. We puppeted communist China and gave them all of China. Now, they are of course very useful because they have 44 million manpower, which I can steal if I so choose. No, we're not at war anymore. Should we betray our allies? Might want to do that, yeah. Starting with who? With Poland, I think. Sorry, Poland. I, as a Polish person, deeply regret what I'm going to do to you. We're gonna start ejecting people from factions soon. Let's start with Latvia. Kick from faction. And I have a truce with you, yes? For a month. Let's get a war goal on them. Should I just kick Germany? Attack them first. You know what? I'll kick Germany and justify on them. Goodbye, Germany. Get in position quick, please. Alright, I was gonna annex communist China. Let's make sure to create a lot of those tiny units. And I mean a lot of them. A couple thousand should suffice. Sent a lot of them to Japan. Preemptive war on 
coup. An ex war coup on Union of Soviet Repub Union of Soviet Republics. There is no Union of Soviet Republics. You know, I'm gonna kick Japan as well. If you choose to attack me, all the better. I have troops in your territory, which will destroy you. Hopefully, maybe deploy thousands of troops and send land lease to communist China. Oh, I don't want them to be annexed just yet. I want Japan to attack me and get killed because my troops are all over Japan. They will not have organization, but that doesn't really matter that much. Let's do 500 convoys per month. Oh, Germany attacked me. Cool, I don't have to wait. Excellent. Confederated States of America. Oh, right, yeah, forgot about them. So yeah, do beat Germany. Shouldn't be too difficult. In the meantime, I can, can I actually kick Poland? I can, yeah. Justify on Latvia. Wait a minute. I am at war with the major. How do I stop the justification on Germany? Yeah, I can't stop the justification. That is very unfortunate. But we are making gains. Slowly, because it is Germany, but we are making gains because we are Rome. I don't count as being at war with the major. Is that because they don't have a faction of their own? It is possible. They're going north and that's good for me because this territory doesn't matter to me and they are using up the troops that they could be defending their homes which are being taken over. Ah, the justification is ready now. I guess I'll do Poland first because they might start counting as a major. We're almost in Berlin. Cool. Reduce Chinese independence. Oh yeah, deploy thousands of units and cancel further production. Berlin, is it mine yet? It is about to be. It's mine. Good. I wonder if Japan and Germany... Ah! They declared war on us. I wonder if they create a faction together. Also, I wonder how my insidiously placed troops... See, I expected them to attack me, so I put some troops in their territory while I still could. I wonder how that will affect the outcome of their despicable evil actions of attacking us unprovoked. Now that we, you know, kick them from the faction or anything. Sadly, we do not have a port, but... Fortunately, we have a huge industry, so it is entirely possible that we will create a port before any trouble comes, or we'll just have our troops be strong enough to survive long enough to get a port from the enemy. And just in case they're not, I'm going to build some ports. And our industry is so vast we won't even notice the expenditure, because it, we have over a thousand factories. Japan is the biggest issue now, so let's focus on them. Right, let's let them do their thing. Minguku, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that matters is that we take the Japanese home isles, they are the overlord. So controlling the overlord is all that matters for controlling puppets. Here, attack. Take the port. Alright, and it's now time to annex communist China. Primary People's Republic. Will that change anything? It just changes the name. So how's my land lease going? Nine days. After that we will be able to annex communist China, stealing all of their manpower. Okay, this is looking promising and we got one here. Excellent. You guys are in a very good position now. I can just keep them on the garrison order, that should be fine. Excellent work, guys. How about Germany? Also excellent work. So, justification Poland is underway. Once we're done with Poland, we'll do Latvia. And that will be pretty much all of the old world. Oh no, there is still Senegal. They are in my faction. I could kick them. Kick from faction. It's a pity I don't get quick justification now. Well, it's probably because I stole Germany's faction, so they don't count that way anymore. Got another bit. And we have several ports now, so the extra construction is not necessary, but I'll keep it going just in case something goes terribly wrong. And we are now capable of annexing China, so we shall steal their manpower. How much do you have? 43 million. Good. Let's take it. 3,000 units over 3,000 units. So what we need to do is use the colonial template of communist China. Which one's the biggest? This one, infantry template 6. And we're going to switch all the troops we have here in the field into that particular template. This will immediately drain all the manpower. It can draw. See how... <laughs> how long it takes for them to switch. It's gonna take a while. Uh, where was I? Yeah, this is gonna drain manpower from communist China as soon as we unpause the game. And that will only take effect once all of these uh, switch and they're still switching. And once that is done, we can annex them. It's not like I need manpower because we have 20 million, but we are in a very good position to have 60 million, so why not do that? 4 million? Oh, not all the manpower drained yet. Do I just not have enough units? Let's wait one more day and see if it's all drained. If not, I can just change the template. No, it's still not all drained. Huh. Okay, let's go into the template, add two more infantry bits. Save that, it should be sufficient. Let the day pass. And boom, 56,000. So it's still not all the manpower. You know what? I said we're taking it all. We are taking all of it. Save. All is taken. We can now annex communist China. Subjects, annex. 300 political power. Excellent. Now, we have to do something with 40 million people who are currently standing in Rome. 
First off, let's switch this entire thing back to the tiny template and just watch the manpower trickle back into our reserves. This is now our manpower. I should have disbanded most of them immediately without switching them to a different template. But I already clicked it, so if I try disbanding them now it'll probably crash. In the meantime, our attack on Germany is proceeding very well. Mostly our biggest obstacle here is uh, justification times. And theoretically when we were fighting all the countries here, we could have also gone after South America. Oh, now that all of these are switched, I'm going to disband a lot of them. Manpower and equipment going back into our reserves. Right, let's have a look at Japan. How are we doing there? Shouldn't you be surrendering by now? I took Tokyo. Almost there. Can we get across here? Oh, looks like we can. How is my war goal justification against my beautiful Poland? Which I sadly have to attack. And just a little push and Germany will be done for. And the Japanese have surrendered. Okay, this is a bit of a problem because their puppets are somehow not in the peace deal. Unless... Okay, they are, just not direct. Oh, are they, are they independent? Did I miss another country? It is possible. I did um, puppet them just because I couldn't take them direct. After that, we take all states from Japan. Treaty of Nagasaki. Now we're gonna have to annex Mongolia and Manguko, which is rather expensive. And no, Jin China is at war with me. I wonder, maybe I should have left Mongolia and Manguko unmolested. Maybe they would be in that war as well. Doesn't really matter. Now let's take this entire army group and use it to kill Jin China. That leaves annexing these two puppets, conquering Poland and Latvia, and finishing off Germany. Let's not forget Senegal. Germany has finally capitulated. Now you do have subjects. Why are you not in the peace deal again? Why? Untouched by any of the winners. Well, I suppose that is correct. Can I satellite them? Yes, I can. So I converted states of America. Pass, 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 pass. Take all states and turn. Done. Germany is done for. Sorry, Poland, but I need to take everything. Get in position for Poland. And the justification is complete. Excellent. Now let us do Latvia and Senegal. 180 days. In the meantime, Qin China is being attacked. Here, have a thousand convoys. Mongolia? Same goes for the other little puppet. We're good to go against Poland, which hurts me as a Polish person, but Rome has to conquer. Poland is almost taken care of, and so is Qin China. Poland, take all states. And same goes for Qin China. Now we go after Latvia, and let's also send one army down here to Senegal. Oh, and another one on the inside just to do more damage. Lower Mongol autonomy. Oh, I forgot to go to war economy. Well, that's hardly a problem. We can now annex Mongolia. Let's do that. Need 300 political power for another annexation. But our name is already a bit better. Ah, justification on Latvia is complete. Let us declare war on them. And also, build some factories. This will take no time at all. Take all states. Excellent. That is a good looking country name. It would be better if it was shorter, if we want to get Senegal and annex Manguko to look better. Senegal war goal complete. Shouldn't take too long, they do have a lot of troops, but mine are better. That thing does it for Senegal. Alright, alright, almost done. Time to annex. How's our name look? You know what, I'm kinda liking this one. I think this is good. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, let me know how you liked it, and Italy really is a powerful faction if you can create Rome. But if you're playing with other people, you won't be able to because they'll stop you, probably. Anyways, I did have fun in this run, let me know what you think I should do next. Do let me know if you have any interesting ones, what I should do on the channel. And let's see Italy again once the expansion is out. Of course, I will play as Italy again when that happens. And yeah, if I felt inclined to continue this, I would of course conquer South America, but I don't really want to because it takes a long time and is not very interesting. If you are of the world dominant power, have over a thousand factories and 67.58 million manpower, we could get more if we min-maxed. But the beautiful thing about this is that you don't really need to min-max for a nation like this. South America exists only because I can't be bothered to conquer them. So essentially the world is ours. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.